Well, on the heels of daylight saving, uh, this week marks National Sleep Awareness Week. And if you've been feeling a little groggy lately, you are definitely not alone. A sleep health company, ResMed, is out with a new global survey revealing just how many Americans uh, are not getting the recommended hours and yeah. how they feel about their slumber. Joining us live to break down the results is Dr. Carlos Nunez, Chief Medical Officer at ResMed. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So I feel like if you ask most Americans, they would probably say, yeah, I'm not getting as, as good of a, a night's rest as I should. What are some of the most interesting findings that you found in this new study? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the findings show that about 64% of uh, the respondents believe they're getting enough hours of sleep, that they're in the bed long enough, but about 80% admitted to having at least one sign or symptom of sleep deprivation the next morning, uh, which is concerning. It means that people, even though you're lying in bed, you're not getting the quality sleep that you need. Hmm. Um, what are some of those indicators that you're not getting a good night's sleep? So waking up tired, but excessively tired where you stay tired all day long is a, is a big giveaway, but also waking up with headaches, waking up with scratchy or, or, or sore throat, also waking up drenched in sweat are all signs of concerning uh, sleep disorder or potential sleep disorders and disturbances. Interesting. Every time we do one of these sleep stories, I'm like, okay, I check way too many of these boxes. So, <laughs> so let's talk about the different demographics, you know, women versus men, older versus younger. Do some folks tend to get better sleep overall? Yeah, you know, as we age, we do require a little bit less sleep. But to be honest, the recommendations you hear, seven to nine hours, really are good for your entire life. Obviously, younger people will sleep towards the nine hour end. Older people sleep closer to the seven hour end. But it is true, you need a good seven to nine hours of restorative sleep every single night. Uh, what is it that's keeping people up? Why can't people sleep? You know, people reported in the survey that things like anxiety, things uh, keeping them up from work, stuff at home is keeping them up. But also we admit, and we know that this is bad, but we admit it, staring at our screens, people realize looking at those phones and those iPads at night before you go to bed is not a good thing and it does keep you up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think we, we, all, we all know what we should be doing, right? Some of the big <laughs> ones, right? We know that we should be putting those screens away before we get in bed. What are some of the, the other good ways to try and get a better night's sleep? Yeah, one of the easiest things is to have a set schedule. Go to bed about the same time every night, wake up approximately the same time every morning, seven days a week, not try and you know catch up during the weekends by sleeping longer. Having that consistent schedule is important. Keeping the room dark, keeping the room at a comfortable temperature. And I can't stress it enough, put down those devices at least an hour before you go to bed. The light from the screen and the, the activation in your brain from doom scrolling through TikTok, looking for that next funny cat video, um, keeps you awake. It doesn't allow you to relax and let your brain turn off and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are some of the uh, health impacts of not getting good sleep? Great question, and the most important question of the morning. If you do not sleep well, you are setting yourself up for a risk of cardiovascular disease, everything from high blood pressure to heart attacks, strokes. You're at greater risk for dementia, including Alzheimer's dementia. You're at greater risk for doing poorly if you have certain types of cancer. Actually, cancer and certain treatments respond better when you sleep. And maybe the biggest one of them all, a study released just last year showed that if you have certain sleep disorders like sleep apnea that are untreated, you have a 40% chance of uh, dying of any medical cause than someone who has been diagnosed and is treated. So if you have a sleeping disorder, go see your doctor. If you don't sleep well, figure out what it is that you need to do to sleep well, because it truly is a matter of life and death. Wow. Yeah, it's the research it gets concerning the more and more we find out about how important sleep is. But hopefully that's some good motivation for folks to to really make it a priority to get a good night's rest. Dr. Carlos Nunez from ResMed, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And if you want to learn more about the Global Sleep Survey and you can take a self-assessment, see how your sleep stacks up, go to sleepforbettertomorrow.com.